What's up everybody, Brian here. If you're new to my channel, I resell clothing and shoes online. Today I'm going to show you how I take pictures of clothing to make them look professional and crisp. The first photo I take is this flat lay photo right here. This could possibly be the front photo, the front picture, but for dress shirts, usually it is not. Sometimes with Hawaiian shirts or something like that, I like to have it sort of zoomed out so you can see the whole uh, pattern and everything. For dress shirts, usually I just uh, take this first photo, flat laid like that. Next, I will take this tape measure right here. Make sure it's long enough and then I will just take a picture just like that so then um, people can kind of see how long the shirt is because these are used clothings you know after you know they get washed and used sometimes they um, you know shrink a little bit or whatever so uh, I like people to be able to see the dimensions some people write out the dim uh, dimensions but I just take a picture of it and you know they can check that out in the pictures next is this pit to pit dimension right here. So I'll have something like this and I'll just take a photo. Boom, just like that, they can see it's two feet. Um, and I do have a little uh, like kind of blurb in the description that says, uh, like tells them how to do it and everything and, and what they should do so they can make sure that their shirt fits and whatnot. So after that, I take this sleeve, put it right there and I move everything over a little bit. Let's see how it's kind of off to the side. And then with these dress shirts, a lot of times I will take this tape measure here and take a photo of how long the sleeve is. Now, as you can see, there's little things here. Um, I just keep scissors right here. I'll have to do it later when I have two hands, but I keep scissors here so I can uh, cut those off. And then a lint roller right here, ready to go if I need it. And then once I take that photo, I put this off to the side. I'm done with that. Move this back. And now I'm going to take the front photo for dress shirts. I try to make sure that I really capture the pattern and like the quality of, you know, people want to make sure that the collar is in good shape and everything and that it looks like it was not very worn. It's in good condition. So I try to capture that. Um, the pattern and then for here all right i flipped the cuff out um, with these i like to make sure that people can see the pattern um, of the flip cuff here as you can see it's a nice paisley pattern so i like to make sure that that is in there um, there's no pocket on this shirt but if there is i like to make sure that there's at least a little bit of the pocket showing in the picture so they can see that there's a pocket there um, and as you can see with this because it's a video there's a lot on the sides here but I recommend using um, uh, a one-to-one -one ratio in your pictures because that's how they're going to show up on eBay. Um, my phone doesn't have that, so I have to use a third-party app. After I take this front photo, which is what people are going to see when they scroll through items and see your um, listing, then I take this photo right here where they see the tag and the uh, sizing and the classic fit. I want to make sure that's in there. Uh, sometimes... Um, you know, they're flipped up or whatever, and I got to like take a picture of this and then I take another picture of this. But if I can get them both together, um, that's great. So after that, we are on to the back. And there you go. Another flat laid picture of the back. You know, you can spend more time on it if you want, making sure it's totally unwrinkled. But, you know, you're trying to go quickly. Um, and so, you, you know, sometimes you just want to make sure you're going as quickly as possible. If it's a really high-end item, maybe you take more time flat laying or whatever. But um, some people I know, I've looked at other people's stores, and some people just go through as quickly as possible. They literally just throw it down, take a picture. You know, they're not too worried about it looking perfect. Um, you know, it just depends on how much volume, volume you want to do and how fast you want to go. But you, know, you have to find that balance of taking a good photo and also um, going quickly. So after that's done, uh, I don't just toss this into a pile or anything. Uh, the way I do it is I actually fold this. I only have one hand here, so this is going to be somewhat difficult. Usually, obviously, I'm doing it with two hands. But I basically fold that over. 
and then fold the um, arm right there. And then I do it to the other side, fold this over. Fold that arm over. So it should look like this. And then I just fold this up. This is not gonna look very good. <laughs> just like that. And it kind of looks a little wonky, but it's okay. Obviously I make it look better with two hands, but you get the gist of it. And then from here, I put that folded shirt right there. And then this holds about 10 shirts right here. And then as you can see, there's like, I could have like two rows. So I could fit roughly around 20 items here. So if I want to do a whole 20, um, take pictures of 20 items, I can put them all here and um, and then finish the listings later. They're already all folded, ready to go. And then when I'm done listing, I put them into, um, you know, inventory like this in polybags. And then I have a stack of shirts here. As you can see, all of these, I just stack them up one by one. It's great because as I'm taking pictures, I don't have to get up and, um, you know, grab different items and, you know, run around the room. They're just all right here. So I literally, everything's within arm's distance. I grab the shirts right here. I take my pictures, I put them here, I never have to move. I have everything that I'm gonna list right here. Everything's prepped and ready to go. Nothing here needs to be, you know, cat, the tags cut off. I don't have to prep anything. I don't have to button anything up. They're all ready to go. I've already done that. Usually I do it when I get home um, from sourcing or whatever. I, I prep them and, and put them here or put them in the death pile under there if they're not ready. And then also I have all the supplies I need to sort of, you know, fix the items if I need to. Uh, and keep in mind guys, uh, that was what, one, how many pictures was that? One, two, three, four, four pictures and two dimension photos. So total of six pictures. Keep in mind, if there's any flaws, I will take this um, uh, a pair of scissors and I'll point to like a flaw and then take a picture. Um, if there's anything extra on the the uh the shirts so like let's say with this shirt there was a button here so it has like a roll tab so if you want to roll up the sleeves and then button it up um i may take a picture of the button um you know maybe if the maybe i wanted to you know take a picture close up of the pearl snaps because it had a cool pattern on it or something i may do that just sometimes i'll i will take extra photos if there's any sort of like extra thing i want to take a picture of so the buyer knows um, what they're getting, but um, those are those six, those initial six are the ones that I pretty much will get in every photo. Um, obviously, if I'm not taking a picture of a long sleeve shirt, it will uh, not have the dimension photo of the long sleeve. Um, and yeah, but that's pretty much how I do it. I'm still debating on everything. How, like, I don't know if I even want this whole flat lay setup because it does take up a lot of room. Um, and you know, as I grow, I'm going to need space. So I'm thinking about maybe in the future putting on hangers, but then I can't do the way I can't do the dimension thing. You basically have to take the dimensions and then write it in. And so I don't really have a system for that. I would just have to switch over, but it is something new and different for me. So I don't know. I just have, it's just something I haven't done yet. I don't know if it's something I will do, but it is kind of in my mind if I need to. Another little tip guys. Sometimes when you take the pictures, the colors don't turn out very well. And so what I recommend trying with some colors is to actually, um, and I don't know how it works for DSLR cameras, but for the phone, what I do is sometimes I look up and I tap my screen so it focuses on the white background. And then when you go down to the photo and then brighten up the picture, it the color actually uh comes out better and the background comes out wider. So if you're having problems with the background, you know, coming out yellow or maybe just um, not coming out very white, uh, maybe the the contrast going from the shirt to the white background, maybe there's like a little line here and it doesn't look very good. Um, you can try that with certain colorways where you touch the background so it has a different focus and the color actually comes out better. So um, that's actually helped me a lot. So yeah, a little tip there. Oh yeah, something I forgot to mention, I do have this black board right here. Um, I need to put it in a better spot. It's kind of annoying. I got to reach it all the way over here. 
up top. But if I need this blackboard because there's a white shirt that's not where the colors aren't showing up, or sometimes like there's certain like blues and reds that don't show up very well. So putting a black background um, may just look better. I like to keep it to the white background, but. I but obviously, like I said, if some colors just aren't showing up and it just looks like a different item, I will, uh, you know, change it up with this black background, um, at least for the front photo. I may not use it for the rest of them, but just for the front one. So it shows up. So the colors show up nice and bright and um, it's true to color. Uh, I like to use this black background. All right. I hope you guys got some sort of value out of that. If you guys have any other tips, please comment down below. Everybody's going to do things differently. This is just how I've done it. I know when I started, I looked at a lot of different people to see what they do. I took bits and pieces and then created this system that I like for myself. All right, that is it for this video. If you got some sort of value, please like and subscribe. And as always, have a good day.